when you talk about light and how it regulates our internal clock, are you specifically talking about sunlight or, I mean, that the, we don't get that same effect from fluorescent lights, is that correct? No, those will, those will if they're bright enough, they'll affect the clock also. Um, ah, okay. And, and, and to give you an example, um, you're how old? I'm 54. Okay, so when you were a kid, um, and girls were 12 or 13 years old, they were just beginning to develop. Often today, you see kids 10 and 11 years old that their physical uh, organ, you know, their, their, their size is like, it looks like hyperdevelopment. Right. Well, you know, light is so related to reproduction and so on that when we're sitting inside and when it gets dark rather than going to sleep we just turn the lights on inside <clears throat> all of a sudden we're affecting all of our rhythm and cycles all of our hormones our, our entire development I mean you know when you if I said to you a plant's life is regulated by light you'd say any fool knows that and I said well what if we put the plant in the closet you'd say eh, it would probably wilt and die well, it's interesting. When we take prisoners and we put them in isolation, in seclusion, they start going batty. They lose all their sense. All of their physiology begins to go batty. Not only emotionally, but physiologically. So putting them in the hole was like um, you're torturing them. <coughs> because you're not giving them any way of knowing is it day or night or whatever. So we respond to light in the same way plants do. If we're sitting in indoor lighting and not getting the benefits of natural sunlight, it's going to affect our health because the indoor light is not the same as the outdoor light. Yeah. If so we're inside too much, we're going to end up with all kinds of problems. And so you need a minimum daily requirement of light. You need to get outside of the light. As you know, winter time sets in, probably in Pittsburgh, and there's a lot of people that get depressed. There's yeah. not enough light. Yeah. Yes? Well, that's just one of the aspects of it. But there's so many aspects that occur just because we're sitting in office buildings and places like that that often are windowless all day long. So and so that's one problem of not getting enough light. The reverse is also true. You go up in a satellite, you look at Mother Earth, and you'll see that there's certain cities like Tokyo, New York City, London, it's never dark. Yeah. The lights are on around the clock. You go into the neighborhoods where the light is on all the time and you see higher incidence of breast cancers and other kinds of things hmm. because at night when the light goes off, the pineal secretes a very powerful hormone called melatonin. Yeah. And that has everything to do not only with regulating a lot of functions and making us feel sleepy at night, but it also has a lot of anti-cancer effects and so on. When the light is on all the time, <coughs> the pineal doesn't secrete melatonin. Not only do we end up with sleeping problems, but all kinds of other problems. So now they're finding hmm. that you know you can have malillumination from not enough light or the wrong kind of light, but you can also have light pollution from too much light. <coughs> So, it's a very profound area to, to look at. 